Hi everybody. So this lesson is about voltage and phase in a AC circuit where you have two components and the components are a resistor and an inductor. And just like we had for the resistor capacitor circuits, this is a resistor inductor circuit and as expected, the voltage across the resistor is actually out of phase with the voltage across the inductor. And if you look at the trace of this on an oscilloscope, this is what we get. So we find that the voltage across the resistor and the voltage across the inductor are 90 degrees out of phase or they're out of phase by quarter a cycle because a whole cycle is a whole up and down movement. So if this blue one represents the voltage across the resistor, we find that, and that is depicted by that blue arrow, so that's the voltage across the resistor. It's found that when the voltage across the resistor is zero, the voltage across the inductor is a maximum. Okay, and when the voltage across the resistor is a maximum, the voltage across the inductor is zero. When the voltage across the resistor is zero here, the voltage across the inductor is a negative maximum and you end up with something like this so and so on okay so voltage across the inductor so the phasor that represents the voltage across the inductor is actually leading the voltage across the resistor and the way that we get our supply voltage is adding these two vectorially and when we do that we complete this parallelogram of vectors that's by drawing parallel lines and there and there and then the diagonal gives us your supply voltage so in this case the supply voltage actually leads the resistor voltage by theta degrees okay and that's how you do this so the important thing to remember is that the voltage across the inductor leads the voltage across the resistor by 90 degrees and when you have a combination of resistor and an inductor in an ac circuit the supply voltage actually leads the resistor voltage the other thing to remember is that the current through the circuit and i'll make another video to reason out what happens about the current through the circuit in relation to all this the current through is always in phase with the resistor voltage that means because the resistor voltage is not affected by frequency it it means that when the voltage across the resistor is a maximum the current across the resistor is current through the resistor is also a maximum so the current is always in phase here so actually the supply voltage actually leads the circuit current when you have an inductor and a resistor in an AC circuit and that was a really short lesson it's about voltage and phase in RL circuits and once you've understood that there are a couple of questions on page 13 in your booklets which you can do there's over here which says voltage and phase in inductor resistor circuits okay very similar to the inductor um, the capacitor resistor circuit so you've got these ones over here for you to try out okay so that's all i'll sign off so bye for now